Welcome to MJ School of Mining and Geology. In today's lesson, we are taking you through a fascinating content known as Exploration Geophysics. Please like, subscribe, and comment below and ring the bell to get notified once we upload a new content. Exploration Geophysics is an applied branch of geophysics, which uses physical methods at the surface of the Earth to measure the physical properties of the subsurface, along with the anomalies in those properties. Geophysics it is widely used because it can map large areas quickly and cost-effectively, delineate subtle physical variations in the geology that might otherwise not be observed by field geological investigations. Therefore, a geophysical data can be used indirectly to map some geological features in detail, including contact between rocks, faults, shear zones, folds, alteration zones, and other structures. Geophysical methods include seismic, gravitational, magnetic, electrical, and electromagnetic. These methods identify resources without the need for sampling, usually undertaken with minimal surface disturbance. The survey used in these methods is called geophysical survey. Geophysical surveys can be conducted either from the air or airborne, on the ground, or down drill holes. Let us dive right into each survey method. An airborne survey may comprise of magnetic, radiometric, gravity of electromagnetic methods. These surveys provide general geological information for an area and are often used in the initial stages of exploration. These surveys are typically undertaken using low-flying helicopters or light aircraft which fly in a rigid pattern. In airborne survey, instruments may either mounted on the aircraft or towed underneath. The aircraft may fly between 25 and 60 meters above the ground, with flight lines spaced between 25 and 200 meters apart. On the other hand, a downhole survey is a geophysical survey that involves putting geophysical equipment down exploration drill holes to gather magnetic, radiometric, or electrical information from the rocks adjacent to the hole. Also used to determine the exact path of the drill hole, Occasionally tools with a small radiometric source may be used and a detailed risk assessment is required to ensure the tool is not lost downhole. Lastly, a ground survey is a type of a survey wherein a geophysicist walk along the crust with a geophysical tool, for example, magnetometer at a closed spaced sampling interval to obtain a detailed information about the subsurface. There are a number of types of geophysical surveys which are undertaken on the ground. These include magnetic surveys, seismic surveys, magnetic surveys, radiometric surveys, gravity surveys, induced polarization surveys, electromagnetic survey. Ground survey is used to get a detailed data about an area, although this is expensive and time-consuming. But the data is more reliable than the data from airborne survey. This is because the traverse lines are closed spaced and sampling points are closely spaced to obtain a detailed information to make a critical choices in mineral exploration. Let us thank you for joining us today's adventure. We really appreciate your support. Please like, subscribe, and comment to help us build this channel. Thanks for watching.